What's up guys, today I'm going to show you how you can install the Google Play Store on the Huawei MatePad Pro. So uh, as of today, there's uh, some issues uh, about them and the restore and backup because uh, the screen will get stuck on the sign-in screen. So uh, as you can see there, it's uh, I've already installed it so uh, and it will go on to the login but I'm just going to do a factory reset and uh, once it's uh, restarted i'll show you how you can go on and put google play store onto this tablet so i'm just going to go to the settings and then um, reset the tablet and then reset to default so <clears throat> i've already copied the file onto this uh, uh, usb c drive so i'm just waiting once it's uh, back on and then i'll take you through the step okay as you can see now uh, we just did a factory reset no play store and everything is gone so uh, before you do anything the first thing it's very important what you need to do just go into the settings it's already connected to the wi-fi so just go into the system and updates and then date and time turn these auto time updates off and then manually change the date to the one year prior to today so i press okay so that's it so uh, once you do that and then you can proceed following the step so but you have to make sure you do that otherwise um if you don't do it and then it will get stuck onto the login screen so now just plug in usb c so I'll leave the zip file, uh, the link on the description where you can download it. Next step, go onto the file explorer. You need to go onto the USB drive. Then you'll see that file which I just you just downloaded and copy to the USB drive. So just tap and hold and then do more. And then extract to current directory. Just leave as it is and then tap OK wait till it's finished okay now it's finished um so just tap and hold on the huawei folder and then move choose the location other location then choose the usb drive and then just do move okay that file is here now so just go back back onto the main screen and then now you need to go to the settings and then at the bottom you'll see system and update and then just go back up and restore and then agree and then external storage choose the external storage and then usb drive and then you'll see the file there dated October 2019. So just tap on that file. And then you'll see it will say two items of two to restore. So just tap on restore and the password as you can see there. So it's A123456. And then zero. So I just show you there so it's the same exactly the same as it says there so it's like, and then tap okay so both files have been restored completed fine so just tap on done now go back and then now go back onto the main screen need to open file explorer then go to the USB drive, go onto the folder you extracted before. Now you copy that GMS folder there. Tap and hold. So you just tap tap and hold. It will be text on that side. You just do copy and then other location. Go to the internal storage and then do paste. Okay, yeah, that's done so now go back on the main screen so this is the app we restore from the backup so just you need to open it open that file 
then when it comes up there so you just need to do activate allow it will show some errors there but don't worry about it it's normal so just tap on the blue button at the bottom there wait till that first one is showing an error and then scroll back back up now you go onto the the file explorer and then to that GMS folder on the internal storage and there is this APK file you have to install one at a time so I'm just gonna go quickly through them Okay, now we've installed all the app, all we need to do just do a restart. Okay, we're back on on the main screen now, so just swipe up to unlock the screen. And then now, don't change the date yet, just open the Play Store. And then tap on the the three dots at the top there and then make sure you do update first so the play google play service is there just need update and just tap on update all it's going to download the latest one so wait till it's finished installing okay that's uh, installed so there is no more updates just go back and then now you just do sign in. There you go. So I'm just gonna, this is the keyboard. I just need to set the keyboard to English. That. So I'm just gonna log in with uh, my Google account. So after you enter your Google account login and put your password, agree to the terms of condition, it will come to that screen. It will look like it's stuck, but all you need to do is just swipe up and then reopen Play Store. And that's it. So you have Google Play Store installed and you can go and search for the app you want. So there you go. Just give it a sec. It will download the... And since it's installed in fine, you now you can go back onto the settings and then date and time and change that, switch that back on and you're done. So we'll go back onto the Play Store, it will still be installed in search. Let's say I'm gonna install Chrome, install, installed. So it's Chrome is installed in. So that's it guys. So um, you have um, installed the Play Store and it's fully working. So this is working as of today, the 27th of July. So, um, if you enjoyed the video, please make sure you subscribe and uh, leave any comments. Okay, I'll see you on the next one.